Welcome to the Game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. And today, we are doing round one of the Risk Free For All World Championship. The settings are Japan, Fixed, Fog Off, Blizzards Off, Boss Automated, Portals Off, with the players as shown here. I have an amazing play for the Ryuku Islands and will be going for this, you guys. So I am so excited for this. The players include Olimar, a beginner ranked player, Frostbite, a top Grandmaster player, an AI bot, Andrew Brennan, a Grandmaster ranked player, and Effer, a, sick, a master ranked player. This is a very stacked lobby for a round one, but the good news is I purposely practiced with people of a very high skill level. So I know um, what to be expecting right here. I've been dealing with players like this. And I'm really happy with my start um, because I have so many troops on the Ryuku Islands. I mean, there is a small chance that the red player like just puts everything down and tries to hit me. But I, I think that's just going to be dumb. It would just, it would be bad for both of us. It looks like, but the red player is going to need a position somewhere. So they're probably in like in the worst spot overall, but they are going to be getting six cards. The purple player, it looks like they are setting themselves up for the Tohoku continent. Green player is trying to set up the Hokkaido. So red's getting kind of smacked on both sides. Yeah, what a rough game for the red player. What a rough game for the player that we call red. Damn, this bot's going ham. So this is already a little bit dangerous because if I'm on the Riku Islands and the players choose to be attacking me, that's going to be causing problems. Because if the bot goes this way, I might have some issues trying to protect myself. So I have to be cautious about this. I'm almost a little worried about a player having this strong of a start of, like, of the bot, and that I have to deal with this. So now we see what red player wants to do. If they do place everything on their three and hit my five, that would probably be the game, but no, they're going up top left because they have more troops there. <sighs> okay, so this is good news because it looks like I'll probably be able to secure my continent. Purple player is asking the red player to move. Oh, Already some high level play that we're seeing right here. Um, my move is going to be very, very simple. I'm going to take my continent this turn. So I think this is a very, very nice start for me. Whew, I'm a little nervous right now, but I think the only way it gets screwed is if like the bot puts everything in Nagasaki and smacks me. If they don't do that, then I'm going to be okay. But this is where like the RNG comes into play right here a bit, you guys. It looks like I'm just gonna be dealing a lot with the bot and the bot's gonna be going into me and they're gonna have to have two strong continents. So while I'm really far ahead overall, like on like the total kind of like a uh, troop count, like I'm on 23 and 11 territories, uh, I'm really worried about this bot. Like I don't, I think it's more continental focus rather than being um, just like attacking other people's continents. So I think this is fine. You know, the blue player wants their continent, but it's going to be very hard. They're lucky that the bot's not going to be attacking them. So this is an important turn. Is the bot going to try to hit me here? No. Okay, the bot just screwed over the blue player. And the bot lost a lot of troops. So this is fortunate. At least for like one turn, the bot will not be hitting me. But this is still... Very, very dangerous, you guys, uh, that I have to kind of deal with this very, very strong bot that can be attacking going into me at any given time. I'm going to have to be really cautious, build up my droop, troops, and take this slowly. Slowly massaging the bot down when I can while keeping my troop count up and trying to avoid a big hit on the bot. This is where we're kind of seeing that negative variance kind of come into play. I'm a lot. Oh wow, red goes into green. Uh, this is wonderful for me. So our priority right now is we need to kind of massage this bot down 
when we can. This, this territory, by the way, is impossible to be going in, um, going in protecting, by the way. And we're just going to have to, oh, no set on three, but this is fine. We're on 29 troops right now, and we're well spread out around, around the map. If we can remove the other players from this side of the board and slowly hit the bot, if no one's going to be attacking us, we can build up our troops on the right-hand side and get an advantage. This is actually a really, really nice uh, first turn. I'm actually really liking my setup now because if all the players are attacking on the right-hand side and kind of crowding each other up, I can bide my time and eventually have a strong two-point hold of the islands, Ryukyu Islands in Kyushu and Okinawa. I just have to really kind of start thinking about how I want to massage this bot down. The bot won't be hitting me because they don't put a lot of troops by a big stack, but I am going to have to be careful. Like for one turn, if the bot heavily fortifies, it could be very dangerous um, going into them. But otherwise, I think I'm going to like uh, be okay. So this is kind of kind of be like the key turn. Um, the green player hits my three. Not much I could have done about that. How many troops did the bot get? Jesus, 13. So this is a little, just a little bit dangerous. So the bot is now continuing to move outwards and attacking the, um, the other players. I lose a one, but that's not a big deal. Lou is weak on 19 troops. I have almost lost my exterior positions. That is a little bit dangerous. I almost wonder though, if that, is that really going to matter? Because again, I'm at 24 troops. I'm ahead of every other player besides purple. So now I'm kind of just in a position where, because red clearly wants to go for the upper right continent. Green doesn't really have a continent. They're going to be spending a lot of time, I think, trying to move towards the center of Chugoku and Chigoku. So that's going to be good um, on their end. Blue and purple are just really going into each other right now. And neither is really kind of vying for a continent. And if two players strike, that's just going to be bad for like all of them. My only fear is if the red player puts a whole stack in and just tries to take out the islands. But I think that doesn't make sense for them to do because their main threat is someone attacking and killing their 15, right? So I think that's what makes sense here. And it looks like this bot is soon going to be getting um, really, really strong. And there's naturally a very strong pathway guarding uh, against them. So I need to massage this bot down now. So I'm going to have to attack this too. Hope that I get lucky. I don't get the best luck, unfortunately. But what is good is that the bot is getting massaged, right? You got to massage the bot slowly and carefully getting them nice and weak so they don't get super strong. Eventually, long term, we'll trade in sets. We will control the right hand side of the map. And then once we have that nice strong three point guard, we'll get more troops than the other players and take the game, right? That's our long term play right here. Looks like we got to follow. I'm not, I, I will give you all, I'll tell all the people who followed me how amazing they are um, after the game is done. Cannot be uh, looking at the chat right now. I want to be as impartial as possible. Okay, I got another follow. Guys, stop following me. Okay, okay. actually, I like it when you follow me, but I can't look at you and seeing who's following me or not because I don't want to be looking at chat. So I'm trying to be a good person that cares about other people. Gosh. We have the set on, on four, so this is very, very good for us, at least. Okay, another follow. Thank you so much for the follow, guys. But again, okay, another follow. Thank you, but I can't look at these follows. I feel so bad right now. I want to be saying thank you to the people and telling them how awesome they are, but I can't do that. Oh, people. What's that vibe doing? Okay, yeah, this bot's crazy, you guys. This bot's crazy. So eventually one of these other players is going to have to go across the map and probably smack a lot of the bot. And now what's red going to do? Looks like red's about to secure their continent. 
and all the other players are kind of just capitulating and moving away from them. Ybrad will be taking their continent. So we'll give them a well played. And let's see, which one, which emoji should I use? I don't have the, um, the, the god dice one. We can give them this. Yay. All right, so we need to take, what we're gonna do right now is we need to massage the red player away from our side of the board. Just weaken the, um, the pink bot a, um, a little bit. And then we'll just uh, put the rest here. So we're going to attack the, yeah, the other red player. We are going to attack the pink bot, get them weaker, defend our borders slowly. We're going to massage this bot down, you guys. We're not going to let them become a problem. We have very, very strong borders right now, and we have successfully made it to the mid game. We are going to play slowly and cautiously and building up our advantage. We're the only players on this side of the board, which gives us a tremendous opportunity. If we can eventually take and hold the Kyushu and Okinawa and the Ryukyu Islands getting plus seven per turn with all that extra territory, we will be in a wonderful spot and then we can just hold get to a very strong position and attack players who are not in a strong position. Beginner ranked player, by the way, is playing very well, getting their own continent. They're just getting out of the way. I love the green player. I'll give them this. All right, so now the bot should be trading in. They get the worst set possible. And they're, ooh, they're not even placing by me. They're just, yep. I massage the bot away from me, you guys. I like a professional bot massager. That's like my. <laughs> I'm losing my three. I don't care. guys that was just so stupid all right the red player trades in they can't do anything i made sure to knock them off my side of the board so that the way they'll be able to uh, leave me alone they're gonna just kind of be dealing with the bots and everything right now wow this is a really really nice start to our dark game we have 40 troops we have more than all the other players we're holding a continent this is just absolutely excellent Excellent right here. And the bots have 30 troops. We uh, just need to continue, uh, continue going on and attacking more and more. We're not gonna take a second continent yet. Like I, I could be trying to rush it. I don't want to ruffle feathers. I don't want people going into me. This may be a little cautious, but like, Guys, in the past several tournaments, I've just been slammed so badly. In one free-for-all tournament where I had a classic fixed game, I, I held a continent with strong borders. The guy invaded me anyway. Uh, I had a game where I didn't defend my borders. I got slammed anyway. I had a game where I, I got my own continent and an expert player incorrectly suicided on me and two people fed me a kill. I've just had so many tournaments where things have gone poorly and this is like the first time where I've had something kind of go my way. Like my end game position is I hold the two points on Kanzai and Wakayama and Hyogo, right? That's going to be my play. The green player, what they should be doing right now is aggressively moving towards the right, the, um, the left-hand side of the board and getting their continent. And it looks like they're gearing themselves up to do that shortly. I'm going to be losing my three. I don't care about that. I have 45 troops. It's a suicide move for anyone to be attacking me. Oh, nice. So next turn, and the blue player's strong right now, like uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take and get our continent for ourselves. 
And once we have this second continent, we're going to be strong, we're going to be safe, and we're going to be able to slowly push for an advantage. We have no set on three, but we don't need the set on three. We're so strong right now, you guys. So blue looks like the blue player is going to be hitting the purple, the pink bot really hard. They may be trying to, yeah, they lost a lot of troops though. And they're using the slider, so they're good. They understand um, basic kind of like uh, moves. Now their red player is going to go. Interesting, they put, it looks like they're placing, they're really emphasizing their exterior stack a lot. And it looks like it's getting, everything's kind of getting set up to, to um, be like a kill. Now, one thing to think about is should I be going for the pink bot? If I were to go for the pink bot right here, I would place two troops here, then place everything on the 13, 13 making it a 19, and I'll go up here, 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 like that. And we get a set. So I think we should do this. We're going to go for the pink bot. So that's a good trade-in. We got the bot. Are we getting an extra eight troops right here? And we're just going to go back. We have too many, we have a lot of continents, but we're on 57 troops. No one can kill us. We're gonna get hit a lot, but we're going to be okay. We can do another trade-in afterwards. So the right play now is we're gonna be getting hit. That's just the right thing to happen. Probably that's going to be green. We got a bounty, we're on seven points. Yes, well played, well played. Like We should be getting broken right here. We wanna let players know that the correct decision is to be breaking us right here. Like I said, as long as I hold my two continents, I don't care. I just wanna hold these two continents and I will sit forever on these two continents. Green is, what's their level? They're an, a, a Grandmaster ranked player. Yeah, they're taking a continent for themselves. Well played. I won't do anything to the green player. They're my ally to the end, baby. My ally to the freaking end. Hey guys, post at all of XC here. The game slows down a lot at this point, so I'm speeding it up a lot, but essentially all I'm doing right now is, is that I'm just taking one card per turn and consolidating my lead as I'm getting more troops per turn than all the other players. If this was a ladder game, I would be consolidating my position and attacking one of the weaker players, like a blue or a green. However, it's different in a tournament game because the goal is more focused on getting additional like uh, troops and trying to last a late game to get additional bounties. I'm going for first place in two or three kills uh, at this time. And I'm thinking one of the, the stronger players like purple or eventually blue will attack red who's getting outproduced. One thing that does happen here is the green player is actually taking a second continent. And I realized here I had to attack it because the green player is weak and they would start outproducing me and getting strong. So green continues trying to take the bonus and I stop them. But as you can see right here, we just continue having card trading. And eventually I just realized that the way I'll be able to advance the game is by making continuous trade-ins and eventually focusing on eliminating the other uh, red player from the game. So I just have to keep breaking uh, Green's bonus. They can't retaliate because of the strength that I have. It's just suicide to uh, hit into me. And I'm just hoping and waiting that one of the other players uh, attacks the other. So I'm just gonna speed ahead to the next moment of this game. And it just makes sense to remove someone from my border. The only one left would be Andrew Brennan. And I don't know if he would truly want to... Ooh, what's... Okay, the purple player is breaking me. All right. 
All right, game is go, con is uh, developing. Um, the green, the purple player is doing something. Okay. So what do I want to do about this? Okay, this is a nice move. Purple is basically saying, I'm going to be taking your bonus now, all of XC. That, that was a good move by Purple that they decided to do that. Very good move. It does advance the game in a way. Blue player trades in. I, can, I could try to, like, to take out a player for fourth and, and two bounties, but that won't be good. I also don't have a big set trade in at all. I'm really thinking right now, wow, that was a good move by Purple. We retaliate and hit purple, we're gonna get very, very weak, and then someone could potentially eliminate us. We do have the big set though. Yeah, I think we have to say bye guy to this. We're the strongest player on this board, man. I'm sorry. Get out of here. You don't leave, Purple Play. You're going to get eliminated from this game. I'm calling your bluff, Purple. If you truly want to just attack me and uh, get fifth place or fourth place with no bounty, you can do that, or you can leave right here. But I, I can't give up this position. And if you get hold both of those continents, you'll just get super strong. Okay. Thanks. I want to hold this bonus in region, and I'm willing to fight for it. I lost now my advantage in groups. You tried to advance the game, but I'm going to fight for it. Like, I have nothing to lose, man. I've never done well in a free-for-all. The best I've ever done was a quarterfinals once, which is no better statistical than average. Yeah. And that's also well played. I'm not going to do it. I can't do anything to the green player now. They recognize this. So we're still okay. What we will need to do now is get into a very defensive posture for ourselves. We've lost our early game advantage, but at the but we we basically knocked the purple player like out of the way. And now purple is weak and I think could get eliminated soon if someone chooses to hit them, like if someone broke their continent, like no one can do anything about it. Oh, is uh, the red player trying to eliminate purple? They can't because I'm blocking purple. That's just a mistake. I mean, red's just taking a, this, an eight plus eight bonus. I mean, I'm not. I can't do anything about that, even if I wanted to. So we're just going to be leaving super minor guards right here, and we're going to retake our bonus back. And then go into a pure defensive position because we're a little bit weaker in troops right now. If we get defended again, our army will remain open. Purple cannot be making an attack on me again. That would just literally be suicide. And it looks like people are playing chicken or going to be giving red the, the big bonus, which is stupid. It's probably going to be on, on blue to do something because they're currently the strongest player. And green is just um, blocking themselves off right now. I mean, if people are truly want to have... Yeah, blue is going to be breaking red. If they don't break red, um, the red player will get strong and can eliminate and take over the game. You need to be calling the bluff right here. So blue's on the move. Where are they going? What are they doing? Okay, they're breaking green as well. Are they breaking me as well? Why? Are they going to kill me? 
I'm on 87 troops. They're breaking my bonus again. They can't kill me though. Yeah, now the blue player wants to get the best position on this board. Ah, I gave myself too many troops probably defending at this, hoping they wouldn't attack me. I really should have been minimal borders. Me being a little bit non-cautious has really been costing me. Okay, now purple's getting taken out right here. So we're at least going to be in fourth place um, right now. So this is kind of a key game point decision. What the heck do we do right here? Do we eliminate... Yeah. Yeah, our play here is really, really simple. I think, yeah, this is not going to be the greatest score in the world, but this is a score. We're going to be taking out red right here. So it's not the best result in the world. It sucks to have only 14 points in total in third place. We're gonna get a lot of troops though. Yeah, we're at 80 troops in total. Um, what's going to happen now, oh, actually, this is interesting. Um, green cannot eliminate me. Yeah, sorry to the blue player. But man, you're going to be blue player. You, If you want to get second place and you want to get something like... Like, blue, green player can't kill me right now. They can't kill me. Blue is guarding me right now. If they weaken me too much, they... Yeah, oops, dude. Green, oops. Dude, oh my gosh, wow, they're actually gonna feed two kills to the, um... They're, they're gonna be feeding two kills to uh, the blue player. Okay, no. Yeah, to the red player, um, I took you out because I felt like I was about to lose the game. Yeah, so the blue player, if you take out me right here, then what on the next turn... Um, green could then try to eliminate me. So it's basically a delicate act. So someone's going to be suiciding into me and then probably taking like uh, the second place for themselves. But this is fine. We're giving the green player a fair amount of territories and troops. Like, uh, in terms of balance, we're a little weak. And now this green also can't eliminate us either. They're 80, like, we don't, they, there's too many troops like, right here that are kind of blocking. So one player in this game is going to be getting, yeah. The safe play is to take me out right now and get third, second place and 13 points. But here's the thing, blue player, you saying oops before. Um, this is overall just going to be a very low scoring lobby, right? And to make the semifinals, you need to be scoring lots of points per round. I have scored like the minimum amount where this won't game won't hurt me, but it won't help me a crazy amount either. But it looks like though these guys want to be playing for a win. They don't want to be playing for a draw. So we just need to continue getting um, cards and troops. Eventually, though, someone's going to be taking us out because these are both Grandmaster players. They know what they're doing. And uh, honestly, we get three Grandmasters of like similar ability. This is basically like a draw right here. By me taking out the red player, I took a very, very safe move for myself.
And eventually, like to the blue player, yeah, it was nice to invade me before, but second place in 13 points, it's just okay. It's honestly just okay. Like, I'm, I'm really happy that the red player did end up taking out um, the purple player. Like, and I feel bad that I had to eliminate you from the game. Yeah. And this looks like, yeah, now, um, it looks like blue is finally doing the right thing. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, so now blue, what they're trying to do is, um, basically try to, uh, own the, win the game right here. Now they're treating us like an online ladder game rather than a, uh, tournament game and putting people into a, uh, checkmate pattern. So it's really on what Green wants to do right here, because I'm the weakest player, I can't do anything about this. If the um, the Green player decides to uh, hit Blue, um, then the game continues and we're in a sense of balance. The Green player can also eliminate me safely and get second place in a bounty. That's also a decision. Uh, the third thing is, it, but they, they can't let the Green Blue player hold both of those bonuses because then they're going to win. So they can eliminate me, or they can attack blue. Both those options are the correct decision. They just can't let blue hold both. They can kill me. Looks like they're going to be killing me. No. Okay. All right. The green player uh, has chosen basically death for themselves at this point. That's a horrible decision. They, they basically did the worst thing possible, which is to let the blue player get strong. Just like, like take me out of the game, man. Like, that breaks the balance of the game and in such a stupid fashion. Very, very bad play um, by the... by the green player. I won't do anything, because I can't do anything. I'm the weakest player on this board. If green wants to get second place in zero bounties, that's an option, because that's what's going to be happening next. Like, they need to take me out or they attack blue. Both options are fine. I don't even mind if I'm taken out here. I purposely took a safe third place and two bounty play right here. You can take me out. It's fine. <gasps> but they're attacking blue. Oh my gosh. And blue's pissed. Wow, so what's the um, blue going to do here? Because uh, I, unfortunately I had no set. I can't believe this, this is a game. If blue wanted to be very risk averse, they could try to kill, they only have a four set. That's 92 troops to kill 83, that's not guaranteed, but they're breaking blue. What the f I almost said the F word. What the hell is going on? Guys, this is, a, this is a ladder game. This is not tournament play. You don't do this in tournament play. Oh. Whoa, interesting also, by the way, what's going on. Both players have kind of trapped themselves. So I think I have an opportunity here. Ah! They messed up the pathing a bit. I was hoping to block them. If they if either has a set on three, I'll be in trouble. But I have a lot of troops right now. I'm sorry if the commentary is not the best. I'm really concentrating. Um, blue, green could go up, but there's only one way that they could go up. Well, they can go down this way, but if green were to hit me really hard, They hit the 52, that's game. Okay. No, they're just breaking everything. So I guess attacking a little bit too much was a mistake. So now everyone's just breaking everybody right now and getting the stacks low. 
I probably shouldn't, that was a mistake to be attacking that much. But I guess the good thing is by not putting all that in, we're still like, okay. So blue at any time could be going for third in a bounty. It looks like both players, everyone, each one's going for the win. So what the heck do I do here? Because so the blue, okay, they're playing this directly like a ladder game right now. 100% like a ladder game and nothing else. So I could potentially try to get one more kill on the green player and get second place and some extra bounties. I think that will probably be the best long-term play uh, for me to do that, to weaken uh, green. So we are just going to leave our position uh, like this. And we could honestly just try to get one more kill for ourselves and get second place in 18 points. We're very close to being able to achieve that. We just have to get one more kill. It's safer because while well, I'd love to get first place in 20 points, getting third place in 14 would just be horrible. It looks, yeah, it looks like green is just taking one card in path. Oh no, they're gonna keep attacking a bit more. That's fine. As long as they don't hit the 53, that's fine then. Okay, they're, they're looking to break all of my continents. All right. It does, okay, yeah. So I think what I need to do now is I just need to continue. Yeah, it looks like blue is slowly getting too strong uh, at this point, but they're doing a full three point guard. What's also interesting is green is nowhere nearby me at all, right? So their 40 is here. They need to have Migata available in order to like uh, break me. So our move is, is going to be like very, very simple. Like I don't think we have enough to eliminate the, um, the green player. The blue player though has her troops spread out instead of keeping it within one army. So we're just going to keep our stack here and then leave our stack directly like this. I want to control this side of the board and green is now kind of stuck in the middle. If I can just hold this for a turn or two, I'll be able to break the game in my favor and take it. So I'm going to give them a feint of like a well played. Again, the player should have eliminated me a long time ago. The green player missed an opportunity to get second place. Because look at this. Okay, now blue, is blue going to be attacking me? It looks like blue is going to be attacking me. It lo looks like the blue player will be the one taking this game. And... Yeah, if I keep attacking, I might lose my opportunity to get the kill on the green player. So I think I have to go for this um, now, uh, you guys. Okay, I think we can. We, we should be able to do this. Um, a 58 to take out 50 troops. I think we can go for it safely. Now, if that roll failed, I could have lost my ability to get the kill, but I have a set on three. We wait a little bit more because the blue player, I don't think can eliminate green yet. They may have been able to, but if I failed the kill, I, I would lose everything. I would have had to get a good kill of 41 attack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven territories. That would have just been too much and too risky. If the blue player has a set on three, they will eliminate 
19 troops. Ah, I may have just given the kill to the to the blue player and then they just take the game. Ah, I should have gone for it. I was a little cautious, but still second place in 16 points would still be a good score. If they have set on three, they win. Are you seriously guarding the green player kill right now? That is just disgusting. Yeah, I should have gone for the kill. It was too risky for me not to. Yeah, so now the green player is going to be setting up an attack. So 68 to kill a 41. I think this is my only opportunity to you guys. We're going to have to go in, get a good roll in this 41 and get the kill. Wish me luck. Ah, those were bad rolls. We've had to get a perfect roll in the five. It was very close, you guys, to reaching it, but no, like, ah, looks like we're getting um, maybe second place or third place. We at least we got 14 points. Andrew is going to be getting like the win right here. I lost 40 on a 41 and I lost 17 on a 17. So really it's just whatever Brennan wants to do. They're going to be getting the, we got at least like a, a good like average score of like 14 points. And they can really eliminate whatever they want first. It's like a, whatever they want to do. They've won the game fair and square. It looks like they're going to be wrapping up the, uh, the green player first. So we got second place at least. The luck wasn't exactly on our side. Um, well, we'll see what the green player wants. They can do whatever they want. Uh, they can make a choice. They can take out me or they can take out green. Looks like they're gonna take out me first, so I get 14, because I got a little more extra points, which is completely fine. Okay, no, they take out green, so we get second place and 16 points. Yep. Well played and a good game. What an excellent, excellent game right there, you guys. Uh, I was on the edge of my seat. That was crazy. And wow, 42 people were watching this game all the way to the end. This is Olive XC signing off.